Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out... Mixed Signals by Rectorox. You're sending me mixed signals. Medium difficulty laser funnel puzzle. Alright, well, let's get started then, shall we? Hello. Where do we want to go to first? Looks like, first of all... Interesting, looks like first of all we'll have to go over here. There's deadly goo there, if we stray too far from our pre-assigned destination. Ah, hello. Hello! There we go. What does that do? Oh, well, that's not quite what I wanted to have happen, but okay. It auto respawns, which is nice. So what does that do when it lands? It does... the exit. Interesting. And this is... another one. Interesting. So we'll do... I don't know, this... and... Oh, and also... that? How? We only got one laser, Lieutenant Dan. I don't know... what you're expecting from me... in that regard. Right? Don't we only have one laser? How are we supposed to have that and that active at the same time here? I have some... Questions. There's another laser that I didn't even notice. Well then, let's go check that out, shall we? We have a potential bootstrap, it would seem. Yeah, can't do it like that though. So, first of all, we'll probably want to do something like that, just to keep it bootstrapped for the moment. Ah, this is just a return path, I see. So, what we'll want to do... There we go. And this is grated. Great. <laughs> Alright, so. Now, theoretically... Theoretically... I can save and continue. Yes! Ooh. But now what? Now what indeed? Uh Hooray! I did this wrong. <laughs> That's okay, I can fix it. There we go. So, instead of that, let's do something more akin to this. What exactly am I trying to do here? That cube doesn't seem useful right this second. Cause I need the other cube back. For sure. these weird light strips. Why is this darker? 
Oh, it's because it's the, the light from the, the big observation room. It's the shadow, actually. The shadow just makes it, I mean, the, the light just makes it lighter, of course. Yeah, I can't grab that through there. Although... Would I be able to recall the cube in such a way... I think I know what I need to do. Get me back over here, please. Uh... Hello! Thank you. So if I do this... That... And the other thing... Here we go. Here's phase one. And then... Theoretically, I line this up so... I'm not entirely sure how this will help me. But we can try. Yeah, that doesn't seem very helpful, honestly. Except. Except! Except. Except what? I now have a portal here? Is that... is that what I wanted? Like, that does that, but then what? Then what do you do after that? Cause I can't walk through here. This is a no-walk zone. Why did I do that? I don't understand. I think that's not useful to do, actually. Oh man, it's been a while since I've been this stumped in a Rector Rocks map. I appreciate that, Rector Rocks. Maybe I should have used the other portal? That's my guess. But how would I... More importantly, why would I do that? If I do this... Okay, that's not helpful, cause then... I will still lose that portal.
because at the end of the day, I want to have the laser bootstrapped, and I want to have the cube over here, so that I can point it at this cube. Or rather, point it at the thing that would let me get the cube out, right? blind? Am I missing something obvious here? I think I'm missing something obvious because... Because this seems simpler than I'm making it out to be. I must be overcomplicating this. So let's see here. Yeah, cause we can't- can't use this portal really to walk through or anything cause we would just die. I don't think we wouldn't use the funnel at all for this part of the puzzle. That doesn't do us any good. You know, I feel really dumb right now. I think I just realized something critical I've missed this entire time. There's a direct line of sight from here to there. I could place the laser cube on the ground. I feel really dumb. That's probably one of the dumber things I've done recently. <laughs> oh boy. Give me this. Alright. Now I want to go back. Give me over here. Oh yeah. That... that's... yeah. <laughs> wow. That was close. Why didn't I do that a long time ago? Holy crap. That's so obvious, and yet, I didn't see it. There we go. Finally. Bootstrapped. It's bootstrapped. Now we can strap all the other straps we want. Get over here. I'm not walking all that way. Okay, the other thing we have to be considerate of... Which is extremely worrisome is this. That is extremely worrisome. How are we gonna put Plonka Portal there, but also get back? Because that's too high for us to hop in the funnel. If we just do, oh, you know, something like this. And do this. That does that. How do we get back, though? How do we get back? We can talk about the control group all damn day, but we can't get back. Yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. Yeah, he thinks that's super helpful. <laughs> the angle between this and that definitely don't work out, as you can see right here.
where was my save at? That, when did I save? Oh good, I saved in a nice place. Alright. Let's try this in a manner of other ways. The reason I raise my head up like that is so that the cube goes up in the air and doesn't cross the bootstrap beam, because if it crossed the bootstrap beam, that would be annoying. What would be a good way to get back right now? So this is the one we just pulled out of there. This one's the one that we can respawn with that button, right? That can be our trigger. And also... We can redirect the laser from the center platform with this one, which we can also use on there. That's a thing. I just hit F5, that doesn't- that's not bound to anything. Um... Then we do... that. Yeah, there we go. That's something. And then, we do... this. And then what? Because... Here eventually, but we also need something there. Hmm. Am I going about this all wrong? Do I need to have a portal there? One thing's certain, I definitely need a portal there, and in order to do that, I have to bootstrap in order to open this fizzler, so. That. That's at least some semblance of progress, right? But then what? Then what do you do from here? Because I don't have enough cubes, and if I recall that one, we lose the bootstrap, which is powering this all. to rearrange and bootstrap that in different ways with different cubes, right? That would just be ludicrous. Oh, I used the wrong cube, I think. No, hang on. Maybe I didn't. Theoretically, you know, I could- I could be here and I could toss the other cube and would respawn into that button there. But I would still want to have this one in here. So how does that work? I 
feel like I'm having a misunderstanding of something here, or an overcomplication of something. This doesn't make magic, magic happen, I just press both these buttons at once. I actually need both cubes in order to get through the exit. My only way to recall this guy is to hit that with this one, but then I won't have this- this guy active anymore for that. And it's a whole big nightmare. circles I can walk into. I do have the ability to use a bit of a cheeky maneuver here. Probably not supposed to, but I'm gonna try it anyway. <sighs> At least you get multiple retries. Somehow that actually worked. And also somehow I don't think it's useful in the slightest. I just have a suspicious feeling that I've done this for nothing. I almost feel like I want to have a portal there, and a portal there. But I need to be on the center platform. I also need to be able to recall this cube. Am I massively overcomplicating things now that I have two cubes? I think that's the case. here. There we go. Alright. How about we head over here... ...and we bootstrap it like... so. Maybe that'll get us somewhere. That's a bit of a weak bootstrap there, but that- that bootstrap is slightly stronger. So, if we've done that... There we go, finally. That took an age. We've done that... 
theoretically. Yeah, we can do that. Ah, uh, I think I sort of see what I need to do. is getting to the center, though. How do I get to the center? While oh, keeping my portals and all that. I need to be able to have a portal here, and a portal there. Like so. But now I also need to be able to get to the center. I need both cubes as well. Which is a rather... Unfortunate condition right now. And if I use the other cubes, if I swap them, I mean. If I swap them. I think I have to swap them. That's a big mess of a problem. Actually, it's not too bad. Um, I'm just trying to think about if I swap them. The w that one would be here, and the one that I can recall from the center would be over there. But how would I recall it? getting some sort of headache or something. Probably related to either lack of sleep or something I ate, not the map. Yeah, because when we do that, it's not too helpful to be here in this situation like this. A lot of good this does us. Alright, well let's try swapping the cubes then. Oh my goodness. I think that's hitting right. Yeah, that's good. Yep, over this, thank you. Alright, then we head back in the other direction. Swap him. Put that guy there. Jump like this. There we go. Eh. So this is the one that we can recall, right? The question is going to be how. How would be the best way to do it? Do anything with this situation right now, or we definitely don't want to do things the other way. Confuses me here. I still don't think this helps us. Still don't think this helps us.
Is there a way- is there even a way for us to be- Oh, that was strange. Is there even a way for us to have a portal... ...here, and be on the center platform? I don't think there is. It might just literally be impossible what I'm trying to do. It can't be impossible because I have to do it. I need both cubes in the center. I need a portal there. And that won't bootstrap, so I have to have the other portal here. But I don't understand how to do that. Am I missing something? I also have to be in the center myself. How do I have a portal here and stand here at the same time? That would solve a lot of my problems right now. relevant at all? Is there anything I can do with that? Anything useful? Though. I don't think that's helpful at all. <laughs> so... I can't... I just can't. Huh. At this point... I'm gonna do some experimenting off camera, so I'll be right back. All right, so I've been stuck on this for a very long time. I even tried sleeping on it. It's an entirely different day. I still could not figure it out, so I decided to give in, and I was watching Nox playthrough. The one thing I didn't try, I tried like every single combination of possible things you can do in this map off camera, and this is the one thing I didn't try right here. And I feel like an idiot because I swear I tried everything except except what you just saw in Nox's video. So, we're gonna try that. I think- I think I have my cube set up the wrong way, though, so, like, this one... I think... I think... I think this one is, uh... Pretty sure that one is actually, you know, this one. Pretty sure. 
easily find out. Yes, indeed. Alright. So. We need to... swap around the cubes, actually. <sighs> Sometimes I just get a mental block on these puzzles where I, I feel like I've tried everything, and then there's just one thing that I haven't tried. Anyways, let's see. This guy needs to go... over here. Plonk it down. Speed across. Get the music playing again. Then we can do this, and this, doesn't really matter. Come on. We'll put this guy... over here. This is the one that we can recall. There we go. So... Then... we need to get... back. Right, that would happen, wouldn't it? Give me this. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me the cube. There we go. Alright, let's put this back here again, and this time let's not accidentally recall it like an idiot. There we go. There we go. Oh goodness. And, uh, actually... I wanna have my portals the other way around. There we go. Because in a moment here I'm gonna do this. I don't know how much of this I've already tried off camera, but... The one combination, like I said, the one thing I did not try... Off camera. Alright, so. Next step, we do. Uh. I'm gonna pre place this so that we don't accidentally recall. I feel like I tried something similar to this at some point, maybe? There we go. So then, that allows us. I think this is like. Yes, this is exactly like what Knock had. There we go. Oh, goodness. Right, but the last issue is, how do we actually get in there? I don't actually know, I didn't watch the rest of the video after this point, I just paused here, so I don't actually know, maybe this is entirely the wrong solution. I'm just- and I've just done all this for no reason, but that seemed- it seemed like something I hadn't tried yet. This is eerily familiar to stuff I have tried already, though. This isn't too useful, really. So now we can't do anything with our portals. And if we try to recall this guy, we'll lose all the lasers. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? This, this doesn't do anything for me. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I'll be right back. And again, something that I would never have even considered trying in a million years. <sighs> this- this map... It seems to have been designed perfectly so that I would never see the solution on my own. <laughs> oh man. There we go, so we take this guy in here, we put it on the button or whatever. Doesn't even matter at this point. Yeah, there we go. And then, while standing inside here... ...do that... ...magic. I would never have tried that, ever. That is not something I would have thought to do. It is not within my mental capacities to even attempt doing that. So, this map goes on my- my favorites for sure. Cause that- that was just... That was beyond me. I could not have done that without external help. So! As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Good- goodbye.